Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage pocket ashtray. When I say vintage, this one may not be quite as old as some of the stuff that you see on this channel but could be as well it's not the most uh, well made of products that I have exhibited here but still pretty cool and uh, neat little item this ashtray shows where scuffs dings scratches maybe a dent or two perhaps some paint loss I don't really know what the value of it even might be I'm just showing this one off more so than getting ready to list it I've encountered several similar type portable ashtrays since I began collecting lighters and other paraphernalia but they don't show up all that often and this one's pretty clean and yeah maybe not the most well made of products but not horrible has good strong spring tension here which holds the lid down that spring is on your cigarette rest should have carried a cigarette or something in here to lay on there be right back if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters ashtrays tobacchiana and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video you're watching tell your friends about the channel hit the share button send that link off in a text email post it on social media however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves that one's a little long so you're not really going to be able to rest a full-size cigarette in there obviously like you would most ashtrays this is simply going to be for you to ash in and get rid of it fairly quickly you know you're not going to fit more than a couple of butts and the ashes from those cigarettes into there but still better than nothing if you need to smoke and uh, an ashtray is your only obstacle to doing so you can leave any comments or questions below the video we would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms that'll be Facebook Twitter Pinterest and of course eBay dependable flame or dependableflame.com across all those platforms looks like they've got the seams pulled in pretty tight there so that it probably wouldn't even spill ashes but it is just metal that's been bent and crimp, crimped up 
and then perhaps tacked but you can see there there's not sure if the camera picked it up but you can see a sliver of light through there so it's not like it's an airtight container you know, depending on what you're smoking and whether or not you want someone else to smell it. I know some people are conscious of that sort of thing. This appears to be an engine turn design, but I have a feeling it is a cheaper process. either that or just a sloppy process maybe but it doesn't look bad it looks pretty cool and um, you know couldn't really take this apart or but who needs to take an ashtray apart it's got rivets holding everything together here but you know just for what it is a portable ashtray that you could use on the fly but again if you left it in your purse the ashes would probably just spill right out <laughs> make sure that you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least 10% of the proceeds going to the charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month, where 100% of those listings benefit HDSA. I provide free shipping. You, the high bidder, pay the money, which the charity gets all of, you get the lighter and everybody is happy I don't see a manufacturer's mark or stamp or anything this could be from the 50s or 60s I could even possibly be older than that but it wouldn't surprise me either if it was from the 80s I have another one that looks a little bit more used and has some corrosion on it this one is in pretty good condition maybe has some plating loss but overall as noted at the beginning of the video does have wear some paint loss scuffs but definitely in good working condition and it's in clean condition it's one thing that always bothers me is when you get an old ashtray with green corrosion or oxidation or whatever the word is just not a good look to me so I would rather be especially if I'm going to use it I'd rather be starting with something clean spring still seems to have plenty of life in it About an inch and a third by about an inch and a I'm sorry not an inch and a third an inch and three-eighths by about an inch and three-eighths by about a half inch 
pretty small definitely smaller than most lighters make sure that you follow us on eBay so that you get the notifications when those new listings come up make sure you don't get left out have those bids gone before you even realize it started make sure also here on the YouTube channel that you hit the bell so you're notified each time we publish a new video until next time